what is good raider nation it's your boy raider alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel also make sure to hit that bell notification that way you get notified every time i post a video just like this one but with that being said let's jump right into the topic of this video the raiders are in desperate need of a shutdown cornerback and they may just look at drafting a quarterback in the first round with a seventh overall pick and they may look at potentially drafting cornerback out of illinois devin witherspoon with a seventh overall pick devin witherspoon is six foot 180 pounds and he chose not to run the 40 yard dash at the combine but reportedly he ran a 4.42 40 yard dash held in a private workout at illinois look there's a lot of good cornerbacks in this draft but depending on what style cornerback you like will kind of determine what exactly you want the raiders to draft or should i say which cornerback you want the raiders to draft look there's definitely a lot to like from devin witherspoon so let's jump right into the tape now this first play this is absolute great man-to-man -man coverage he clearly anticipates that slant route and breaks up this pass on this next play right here another good example of him being very aggressive breaking up routes and causes an incompletion now on this next play look i'm including this play because although witherspoon isn't able to make the tackle i just love the speed and anticipation and overall his aggressiveness getting into the backfield trying to make a play and run support you can see at the end of the play how frustrated he is that he wasn't able to make the play but overall i love this attitude from him now on this next one, once again, very solid in coverage and he gets hyped up after the play. This guy definitely brings a certain type of swagger and demeanor and intensity to his game. Now another thing with Witherspoon is he's also very versatile in the fact that he can also play in the slot. Here he does a great job covering the slot wide receiver for an incomplete pass. And at the same time he can also play on the outside, great technique on the outside. The receiver really had no chance on this route. And once again, we see Devin Witherspoon in the slot. In this one, he's man-to-man -man coverage against a slot wide receiver. He creates a turnover, causes an interception, and he's able to take it back for a huge play. Lined up on the outside on this play, he makes a great break on the play and forces an incomplete pass. On this play right here, he shows great speed and awareness to avoid and maneuver through all the traffic for a short gain on these crossing routes. Now on this play, he isn't able to get the huge hit, but this is another great example of his aggressiveness. He's going for that big hit stick on the Virginia quarterback. He misses the hit, but he shows that he's not afraid to put his head down whatsoever. This guy's a very aggressive aggressive defensive back this next play once again great coverage from this guy he absolutely smothers that route and they're lucky it wasn't a turnover and also just peep the celebration afterwards this guy is just overall very fun to watch also he's a pretty good tackler he does a pretty good job on the tackle here which i love to see this from a cornerback now on this play right here look this is one thing that does kind of concern me about weatherspoon playing in the next level in the national football league look on this play it does end up being an incomplete pass but against a big nfl wide receiver this more than likely is going to be a touchdown so if he's on the outside in the national football league i could definitely see teams picking on him from time to time as he is a little bit undersized for an outside cornerback now this play right here is in zone coverage he does a good job he's absolutely relentless he nearly makes a spectacular interception in zone coverage he has the great speed and awareness to make a big play on this so my overall takeaways from Devin Witherspoon, look, overall, there's a lot to like from him. He's most definitely a cornerback that I would be very excited to have on this roster. Witherspoon is an extremely intense cornerback. He's a hard hitter and he's pretty physical in run support. Overall, he's a good tackler as well and he's very good in man-to-man -man coverage. I noticed he did a very good job anticipating a lot of routes. So it seems like his football IQ is pretty high. I also like the fact that he is versatile in the fact that in college he was playing on the outside and he can also play in the slot. Not only that, I just absolutely love this guy's overall swagger and demeanor towards the game of football. He's got that confidence that you just love to see in your defensive backs now really the only knock i got from devin witherspoon is he is a little bit undersized to be an outside cornerback in the national football league so i don't know how he'd be able to translate a team plans to put him primarily on the outside but you just don't know a lot of teams may just want to go ahead and primarily play him as a slot cornerback i think he can definitely 
thrive at the next level in the slot. And the thing with me, though, is the fact that if we're going to draft a cornerback that high at number seven in the first round, I want him to be a true number one outside cornerback, especially since we already have a good slot cornerback in Nate Hobbs. Now, look, if defensive coordinator Patrick Graham is looking more for versatility, then I can see why he may want to go ahead and draft with a spoon as at that point he would have two cornerbacks that can play in the inside and on the outside if he really wanted to but personally I would just prefer to keep Nate Hobbs primarily in the slot that's where he thrived in his rookie season last year when they began to move him a little bit to the outside he didn't look as good compared to when he was in the slot but another thing that you love about Witherspoon and with him potentially getting drafted with the Raiders is he's very good in man-to-man -man coverage and I do think Patrick Graham wants corners that can thrive in a man-to-man -man coverage system the Raiders ran a fair amount of man-to-man -man coverage last season I think they're going to continue to do so so Witherspoon is most definitely an interesting option for the Raiders if we want to select a cornerback in the first round as I mentioned before though there's just so much talent at cornerback in this year's draft so it really just depends on what style cornerback Patrick Graham is is looking for for this defense but Raider Nation let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think of Devin Witherspoon do you guys want the Raiders to draft him let me know down below but with that being said that is all I have for you guys in today's video anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raiders related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel with that being said I will see you guys in the next one